Hi, and welcome to today's Best My Test vocabulary lesson. In this video, we are going to look at four important words from your TOEFL and IELTS exam. The words we are looking at today are indicate, indication, indicator, and indicative. We will also look at how to paraphrase sentences using these words. So, let's get started. Let's first look at the word indicate. To indicate something means to point something out or to present evidence. There are two patterns. You can either use indicate with a that clause or directly with a noun. Let's look at some example sentences using the first pattern. Estimates indicate that more than 60% of the yearly retail sales in the US are credit transactions. Evidence indicates that People have always been predominantly right-handed. The drastic disappearance of foraminifera in these layers of rock indicated that something had happened at the boundary between the Cretaceous and Tertiary periods. Here are example sentences using the second pattern. The drastic decline in the numbers of amphibians worldwide indicates the global pollution of water and air. Record profits in the retail market indicate a boom in the economy. An increase in crime indicates a decline in moral standards. When paraphrasing, you can use give somebody an indication of or be an indication of instead of indicate. For example, the drastic decline in the numbers of amphibians worldwide indicates the global pollution of water and air. This sentence can be paraphrased to the drastic decline in the numbers of amphibians worldwide gives scientists an indication of the global pollution of water and air. Or the drastic decline in the numbers of amphibians worldwide is an indication of the global pollution of water and air. Here's another example. The sentence, record profits in the retail market indicate a boom in the economy, can be paraphrased to the following. Record profits in the retail market are an indication of a boom in the economy. All right, there's another noun called indicator. Indicator is an object that indicates the state or level of something. Some people do confuse indicator with indication. So let me try to explain the difference here. An indicator is an object, right? So an indicator could show you whether the level of something is high or low. The speedometer, for instance, in your car is indicating how fast you drive on the road. An indication is an act or the process of indicating something. Basically, an indication is an abstract concept. And an indicator is an object that indicates something or gives an indication of something. Did you notice the difference? Pause this video here if you need some more time to understand it. All right, now let's look at an example to help you get a better idea of how to use the word indicator. Considering this sentence, the drastic decline in the numbers of amphibians worldwide indicates the global pollution of water and air. From the above sentence, we can say that the number of amphibians worldwide is used as an indicator of global pollution of water and air. As you can see, an indicator is an object that indicates the state or level of something. All right, let's look at more example sentences using the word indicator. Nitrogen oxides are used by scientists as an indicator of economic activity and of the effectiveness of pollution control measures. Gold prices are often seen as an indicator of inflation. The stock market is seen as a leading indicator of economic growth. You might hear a lot from newscasters about economic indicators. These are figures such as the rate of unemployment or inflation that indicate where we are headed economically. Here's an example sentence. Economic indicators suggest that prices will go up. All right, let's have a short quiz here. Does the following sentence make sense to you? High crime rates are an indicator of a decline in moral standards. The answer is no. You can change this sentence as follows. 
high crime rates are an indication of a decline in moral standards or crime rates are used as an indicator of a decline in moral standards. So why doesn't the example make sense? You should remember that the indicator is basically the object or number which shows you whether something is high or low. So crime rates can be used as an indicator. They can be high or low or average or anything else in between. But if crime rates are high, the indicator shows a result already. This result is the indication. It is a fact and describes a situation. All right, let's look at the final word today, indicative. Indicative means suggestive or serving as a sign of something. The phrase be indicative of basically means is an indication of. Therefore, when paraphrasing, you can use be indicative of or is an indication of instead of indicate. Let's look at the following example. The drastic decline in the numbers of amphibians worldwide indicates the global pollution of water and air can be paraphrased too. The drastic decline in the numbers of amphibians worldwide is indicative of the global pollution of water and air. Okay, here are more example sentences. Thin tree rings are indicative of slow tree growth. That means that thin tree rings indicate that the tree has grown slowly. Or provocative images in the media are indicative of the vibrant competition in the media. Okay, this is the end of today's video. I hope now you know how to use indicate, indication, indicator and indicative correctly. Next time you're writing a sentence using the verb indicate, try to paraphrase it using indication, indicator or indicative. Okay, as usual I encourage you to go to our YouTube channel and Facebook to watch more free TOEFL videos. You can also go to our website www.bestmytest.com to practice over a thousand TOEFL questions and many TOEFL simulated tests. This is Joe from bestmytest.com. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time and say goodbye for today.